Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is actually me doing day 20 of, of the Leak Code Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this farm. Another one that I haven't done, so yay. 491, non decreasing subsequence. So let's actually read what this means. It is a subsequence this time. Uh, all right, given an array nums, uh, return all different possible non decreasing subsequence of any given array with at least two elements. You may return the, the answer in any order. So there's two things here is that you have to. Excuse me. The first observation is that you have to return all the um, all the different possibilities, and as a result, um, you know that this is possibly going to be exponential, right? Because for um, yeah, I wonder if they they don't make a good kind of differentiation about it uh, on on what different means, um, because different could mean a couple of things. It could be different on index or different on value, right? Right, meaning that if, all, if the number or if the sequence is, you know, one 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 one, oops, um, you know, is, is one how many one ones are there, right? Is it um, five choose two or is it just one, right? Um, and you know, that's I know that that's the difference between distinct, unique, or whatever. But sometimes it would be very helpful if they define it. Um, so that's that's one observation, but that doesn't really change the complexity. That just changes the how you set up. The other is um, given that this, uh, you, you know, you seeing that this case, um, you know that this is going to be exponential because, um, well, there's just two to the n minus one uh, number of possibility here, right? Meaning that basically you can think about it as a binary number. Each number is either in or out of the subsequence that you're doing. So if this has 20 elements or whatever, uh, dot, 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 then it's going to be 2 to the 20 minus 1 number of subsequence, right? Because that's just all non-decreasing. Um, so yeah, so that's basically the, the core part. And knowing that it's exponential means that, well, we can't really do any better, so let's take a look at the constraints. And the constraints kind of confirm that for me in that n is equal to 15. Because n is equal to 15, well, you know, uh, that's pretty much all you need because, uh, like I said, there, there's two to the n number of pos uh, subsequences, and therefore, you really can't do any better. And 2 to 15, of course, is, was it 32,000 or something? So, yeah, so that's going to be fast enough, even if you times another 15 for, for you know, n times 2 to the 15 or something. And n times 10 to 2 to the n is usually happening because you have to, you know, make copies of the array or something like that, right? So, yeah. Okay, so... Let's say we have an answer, and that's the way that we're going to do it. It's just brute force, right? Um, yeah, let's just say, let's just call it, uh, I don't know, recurse, or maybe just find. Uh, let, let's just say index, and then and then the last value maybe, right? Something like that. Uh, and it could be up to negative 100, just to be clear. So you have to be a little bit careful. And maybe like a the current array, and then, yeah. So... Yeah, if num sub index is greater than or you go greater than you go to last, then we can append num sub index. We do a recursion. And then maybe pop it, right? Something like this. Other uh and then we also want to just uh, go anyway, like do a recursion without it, right? Uh, and then at the end, or maybe not the end yet, but and then another thing that you want to do is check whether if index is equal to n, then we have to copy this to uh, da, 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 da. that's pretty much it. Keeping in mind that this thing is intentional, so that it makes a copy, otherwise, um, you're going to copy a pointer, and then uh, well, maybe we don't even go that far, so. Did I not? Uh, oh, whoops, this should be last, that's why. And also, we didn't call the function at all, so that's kind of hard. Yeah, still wrong, right? Do we have to sort it? Uh, no, you have to return the answer in any order. Um, so I think this actually settles it, even though I didn't really look for it that deeply. Um, in that they have to be unique, right? Um, yeah. 
because I, I think I've returned the same thing multiple times, which is why uh, this is wrong. But yeah, also maybe if the length of current is greater than zero. So technically, uh, with at least two elements, so actually greater than two there. Oops. Maybe that's what I'm missing. Maybe that's a different thing. Nope, it's still uh, the duplicates, I suppose. So yeah, I mean, that's also obviously fine. Um, we just kind of have to change this into a set. And then now, yeah. Uh, and then now we don't have to do this because it already makes a copy of it. And that's pretty much it, right? Uh, let's give it a submit. Woohoo, 1025, yay. Uh, yeah, I mean, what is complexity here? Uh, we already kind of talked about it. Um, it's going to be, so th th this is kind of roughly speaking two to the n um, times n because we have to make a copy of the thing. Uh, yeah, the end. So yeah, so two to the n times n, and that's pretty much it. Um, of course, given that it's 15, it should be good. Uh, yeah. The reason, so a couple of minor things. One is that we have to just check that is length two, which we have to do here. Um, we convert it to a tuple because a tuple allows us to kind of use a set. That's just the way it is, because um, it's um, immutable. You can also use a frozen, uh, maybe frozen something. I could be wrong with that one. But yeah, so that's why it gets rid of it. And at least on lead code, it converts the tuples to, or it checks the tuples of a list pretty in the, uh, interchangeably, even though in theory, you maybe you should change it back from a tuple to a list if you want to be uh, really careful or whatever. Um, what else is there? I think that's pretty much it. I mean, this is just really straightforward backtracking. Otherwise, something that you really should be practiced on is something that people definitely give interviews on. So yeah, um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Good. Go to bed. So stay good, stay healthy, it's a good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.